Aha, uh -huh, it's me again. Welcome back to the channel if you're a returning subscriber and if you're not, welcome. We're going to make this vegetable rice that I have re gotten requests over and over again and here I am to deliver. As always, I am the cooking nurse and my real name is Rita and if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and then go ahead and hit your pan and put there some oil, olive oil, any vegetable oil is okay. And then you're going to put there your basimati rice, the long grain one is what I'm using. But whichever rice you have, please feel free. Don't feel like you have to have a certain type of grain to make what you want to eat. Yeah, as usual, don't let any excuse come in between you and happiness. Keep on stirring it into the oil and let it get well incorporated. Then season it with some salt and then go ahead and add some water. If you want to wash your rice, no problem. Do that. And then... You know the drill, water is usually one to two, one rice, two water, and then I'm going to be flavoring mine with some crushed green cardamoms until uh, this water is all absorbed or evaporated. Where does the water go? Okay, absorbed. I'm going to let it simmer on low heat. And at this stage, you can remove the cardamoms, but I'm going to assume that the people who are going to eat have some sense and can see that cardamoms are going to be bitter and they'll remove them by themselves by themselves and i'll leave them yeah it's not yet completely so dry so i'm just going to remove the heat and set the rice aside so the moisture in there is going to be absorbed at the end of the day and we have now our chopped vegetables carrots and peas onion some sweet corn i have some green capsicum and red and then i chopped some chicken viennas just to go in you know just to add in some little bit of happiness and yeah, that's it. So our rice is done and we're going to go on and start on the vegetables on the side. We're using some extra virgin olive oil because flavor is important. These are two different dishes that we're just going to bring together. And then into the oil, we first put in our hard vegetables. That is the peas and the carrots. I mixed these a little bit earlier. I chopped them and then mix and freeze in Ziploc bags so that it's easier. If I want to make a batch, I just pick one like this and then I'm good. And it's advisable not to thaw them first because then they'll, you know, loosen up and be soggy. So when you put them in like this, when they are still frozen, they stay vibrant. Season them with some salt and cover up because, you know, these are really hard vegetables, especially the peas, and you don't want to serve anyone an uncooked pea they are going to come to maintain their color because you've put them in when they are still frozen and they are fresh but you need them cooked at the end of the day so i did not first put in the onions because i knew by the time the peas and the carrots cooked down the onions would be burnt so i just put them now and then i'm going to cover them also and let them release all the goodness all the flavor in there until we have something like this so our peas are almost cooked. By the time we are done putting everything, they will be good to go. So now you just have to use a spatula and go around and then you can start adding in other vegetables. I'm adding in my sweet corn. This gives it the crunch and some flavor and it being like sweet, sweet, it's really nice. If you can, you know, have this one at home, better. And another thing is the vegetables used in your vegetable rice are completely optional. You can add anything that you can afford or is readily available in your kitchen. And these things are really available. Anyway, most of my recipes use things that are readily available. So we're adding our capsicums, the green and red. I didn't have yellow. And then we're going to add in our viennas. Viennas are like sausages. So if you don't have the viennas, you can add in these actual sausages. Uh... Yeah, the ones that we usually see. And yeah, just mix them around until they are ready. So if you do not want to serve the rice immediately, you will stop at this stage and then wait until when you're going to serve the rice to avoid it being soggy and yeah, things like that. But now mine is just going to be eaten. So I'm going to just have my rice. See how fluffy it is? That is because I first fried it alone in that cooking oil. Other people believe washing it like several times to remove all the starch also does that. So go the easy way as usual. Don't break your back. 
yeah so keep on adding the rice until the desired amount we don't want either side to overpower the other so adding uh, a reasonable amount of rice and that's it you have your professional vegetable rice that is not fried rice because i already have a video about vegetable fried rice or fried vegetable rice you can also check it up i'm going to leave it in the description box and if you haven't subscribed yet up to this time basically please do it thank you and i'll see you soon bye